Hi, my name is Paul and I am a sophomore at the UNH IOL. This video is meant to describe what the MIPI Alliance is, what we as a consortium do, and where we are headed. MIPI stands for Mobile Industry Processor Interface. It was formed in 2003 by Samsung, Texas Instruments, Nokia, ST Microelectronics, and Intel. These founders and other contributing companies work together to define standard ways of components like cameras and displays to talk to each other in mobile devices. The ultimate goals of the MIPI standards are peripheral interoperability and low power consumption. Interoperability is accomplished by the fact that if every supplier for every component that goes into a mobile device adheres to MIPI specifications, there is a much greater chance that every component will work together in the final product. Low power consumption is accomplished by DeFi. DeFi is the physical layer specification that describes the electrical characteristics like timing and voltage of the signals that are sent by most MIPI of devices. The signal characteristics were chosen with power savings in mind. This is a block diagram of the specifications that the MIPI Alliance has produced. Our consortium currently focuses on conformance testing against CSI2, the camera interface specification, DSI, the display interface specification, as well as DeFi, the physical layer specification. We plan to move into testing BIF, the battery interface specification, and MFI, the new physical layer specification that will replace DeFi. Hi, my name is Steven, and I am a freshman technician at the UNH IOL. I primarily work on display and camera protocol layer tests. DSI and CSI are protocol layer specifications. DSI mostly deals with how data is sent to and arranged on the screen of a smartphone, and CSI mostly deals with how your camera sends the pictures and video information it gathers with its image sensor to the processor in your phone. A lot of the DSI testing revolves around the proper steps to follow when an error occurs. If a bit is misplaced in a packet and sent to a display, the display has to recognize what went wrong so the problem can be solved. It also deals with how the image data is sent to the screen on your phone. The processor has to know how many pixels it should send to each horizontal line on a screen before it should move down to the next line, or how fast it should send that data and determine the frame rate of your device. Some examples of CSI tests involve the time between each time a camera sends one frame of the image data to the processor, or the time between each line of each frame. It also deals with if the proper codes and checksums are implemented for each packet. Hi, my name is Jeremy, and I am a freshman technician at the UNH IOL. I primarily work on physical layer tests. MPI is the up-and-coming physical layer standard that will replace DeFi as the go-to physical layer standard. We currently test DeFi and are planning on expanding to MPI as well. Physical layer specifications dictate the specifics of the actual electrical signaling, such as voltage levels or the time it takes for the binary signal to switch from a 0 to a 1 and vice versa. These specifications have a large impact on how fast data can be sent and how much power is used to send it. MPI is capable of sending data six times faster than DeFi, as well as using less power while idle. It also will allow the companies that implement it to use less wires or data lanes, saving precious circuit board space and cutting down the cost required to create each board, and in the end affecting the cost that the user sees. The MIPI Alliance has been proven to benefit vendors and in turn end users by creating a more open environment in the mobile industry. There are currently very few third-party labs that test for conformance against these standards. Because of this, the UNHIOL MIPI Consortium must develop the tools necessary to test these devices. While MIPI may not be well known to the general public, it plays an integral role in our daily lives with 3 billion MIPI powered peripherals being shipped this year. There's a good chance if you have a smartphone, there are MIPI powered peripherals in it. This is an example of a small portion of a report that the UNH IOL MIPI Consortium provides to members requesting testing on their parts. Currently, the MIPI Consortium produces conformance reports for DeFi, CSI2, and DSI. These reports are important because they give vendors valuable feedback on how their device performs outside of their laboratories and can identify the source of potential issues quickly. The testing and reports also allow vendors to give independent validation of their products to their customers. Membership provides access to testing for as many products as needed, as often as needed, as scheduling allows. Memberships are 12 months long and additional memberships allow more flexibility when scheduling testing. We recommend new devices be accompanied by an engineer to ensure the device is properly configured. 
Becoming a member is not difficult and all information required can be found at the IOL website. Additionally, if you have any questions regarding membership, please contact us.